Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing The Sims 4. What a disaster this place is, Jesus Christ. And you know, nearly every episode is focused on Jim Pickens, but today we're gonna... Actually, I need to do one thing with Jim. Last episode I was changing his body around and I made his head a little bit thick by accident and uh, we gotta fix that. Ah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally inflated it. It was just his ego inflating from being a mermaid. Such a beautiful, beautiful creature. But yeah, we've done so much focusing on Jim, and who can blame us? He's a star. But uh, he seems kind of stressed. Maybe we should do an episode that's focused on first name Pickens. <laughs> an unlikely star of an episode. But um, you may remember in the last episode that it was coming up that he can't make friends and whatnot. But we've got a new neighbor, and I figure, oh, what the hell is that maid doing? <laughs> He's just floating up the stairs. But yeah, we've got a new neighbor, and I feel like I should go make him have a friend. I forgot about these people too. And here he is, a bit of an outcast. His name is Drog Dilur. It's European. Okay, why did the pool people follow me, and why is she getting naked? Why is she putting up an umbrella? Okay, she's putting it away. <laughs> she realized I was about to judge her. You know what, whatever. Well, let's get to know Mr. Dilur. <laughs> he looks very trustworthy. He's running in a circle, and I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> God, why is he doing a Santa Claus impression when he just met this guy? No wonder he doesn't have friends. Ask about drug quality. How did you know? For a guy who's never been out on the street, he's pretty street smart. And now he's running away. What's it? Oh, he's kicking over his garbage can. I guess he didn't tell him the drug quality. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, it's in a different person's house. Okay. <laughs> he got a sudden urge to run to someone else's house and kick over their trash. <laughs> We've all been there. Buy drugs. What do we want? Get some powder. <laughs> Buy a Ziploc pack of coke. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Why is he inspired? Updated on the drug market, that's why. It feels good to be updated on the current drug market. I just realized it's Christmas Day and he's hanging out with this guy in a scrapyard. I want to see his swimwear. Like, if this is your everyday wear, what's your swimwear? I just, I gotta know. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Ask if mermaid. <laughs> he's definitely socially a bit out there. Mermaid, what gave you that idea? Wait, who is, who is this? Is this Santa Claus? Why are you crying? Because we've kidnapped the other two Santa Clauses? Oh, yeah. oh. Why are you mopping up a puddle in the rain? This guy's getting high on his own supply, I think. Oh, now you're playing in the trash. Okay. Okay, dude, stop. Come on. We're trying to become drug dealers here. Show off pet. The fucking dog looks like he's addicted to meth. Maybe that'll convince him I'm not a cop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Now they're both doing a stupid laugh. Can't seem to become a drug dealer. Is it because I'm not old enough? Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go age up. I'm pretty sure today's my birthday. <laughs> On Christmas Day. <laughs> Just call me Jesus. All right, I cannot find birthday cake to age you up, so I bought you this brick of cocaine instead. <laughs> I hope that's just as good. <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Happy birthday, and Christmas. <laughs> Snort more average coke. What? Why is that over by the sink? I'm dreaming of a wife. Christmas. The sink is actively leaking and he's like, yeah, I'll just put my coke down here. <laughs> this is fucking bizarre. <laughs> he's very confident. He's coked up. <laughs> First name is on a wicked amount of cocaine. <laughs> just keep snorting coke. I need you in a really good mood because we got to impress that drug dealer. Oh, wait, I've got school in an hour. <sighs> God damn it. I can't go to school if I need to go meet my drug dealer. <laughs> Look at the state of him. What music was he even listening to? To be honest, it fits his personality perfectly. He looks like a character out of something like Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> and that kind of reminds me of that sort of game. <laughs> The drug dealer comes around the corner, and he's just dancing to this. Oh yeah, make funny faces. Impress him. Impress the drug dealer. Maybe he's just laughing at him, not with him. Other requests. By fake ID. That would have come in handy, actually. Then I don't need to age up. Hey, I heard you became friends with drug dealer. He's pretty cool. That's his former nanny saying that. The one who let his brother drown in the pool. Inquire about selling cocaine. As long as you buy it from me first, I'm cool with it. Awesome. All right, kid, would you like to buy some drugs? I need new customers. Oh, you can't. <laughs> That's probably for the best. All right, come on, first name. Now you're a drug dealer. Let's go out and hit the town. Look at his little face down the bottom left. <laughs> He's definitely been snorting his own supply. All right, let's say we're having a birthday party. Gonna invite some locals that I don't really know. And we're gonna go to the lounge on the, the top of that tower. <laughs> they should know something is up when first name is getting such an extravagant party. Like, it's clearly Jim is behind this, just pulling the strings. He is the Heisenberg. He's the one who knocks. Hey, thanks for coming. Uh, now, do you want to talk about cocaine? <laughs> no. Oh, He's like, oh, I love coke. <laughs> talk about legalization of 
of coke. <laughs> That's your opening icebreaker. Share cocaine with... <laughs> it's just on the feckin' floor. Here, you want some? <laughs> Look at it, it's just on the feckin' floor. Oh, you must have some powerful nostrils, man. <laughs> it just... It just snorted it up from like a meter and a half away. Share cocaine with his former babysitter. <laughs> Come on, everyone, everyone get a line. <laughs> oh my god, what a parody. <laughs> First name does not feck around, does he? Compliment the birthday sim, but that's me. How am I supposed to do that goal? I think she's pregnant. All right, never mind. Let's ignore the fact she was doing cocaine while pregnant, because now there's karaoke. <laughs> Seal the deal. <laughs> to a pregnant lady, really? <laughs> He's even laughing evilly. Look, it gives you energy. It'll keep you happy. It'll make you confident. Ask if Kingston has ever tried cocaine. <laughs> I just saw him snorting it off that park bench. First name's responsibility is in range to earn the irresponsible trait. Where are you getting that from? He's just dancing as he talks about cocaine. He's trying to keep it chill. I need to get my cocaine dealing skill up. I think at like level five, you can smuggle it. Instead of buying it from the dealer, you can smuggle it from that jungle area if you have the expansion, which I do. For this specifically, of course. <laughs> there we go, some more money. Like, this guy's got the right idea. He's just dancing. He doesn't have to put in any work and he's making money because I'm buying it from him. It's like a multi-level marketing thing. You can change parental reactions. I'll set Jim to be cool with teen drug use. <laughs> wait, don't walk away. Hold on. I'm sealing the deal. Oh, wait, no, I, I got her as a client. Okay, yeah, now I'll sell you cocaine. Sorry, my mistake. I'm new to this. I got some top-notch nose candy for you. We come home with like two grand and he's like, Dad, it's just birthday gifts. Wait, party unsuccessful? Oh, I needed a birthday cake. I thought you said birthday coke. Could I make a club maybe with just my clients? Druggies, enter description. Peasants, and we'll just add them into this group. Wait, what the hell? Why is that guy gold? I'm gonna invite him into the group because I know he'd be up for it. Fun and games, do drugs. <laughs> it's mixed in there like, go bowling, play arcade machine, just do drugs. And that's it, that's all we do. We hang out at the, the house in Shrek Swamp, I guess. And we just do drugs. <laughs> All right, let's go back to my house. Yeah, proud dad, I made friends. <laughs> He's just walking away. He doesn't even want to answer that for legal reasons, of course. All right, everyone, welcome to the swamp. I'm going to light up the fire now, and we're going to do some drugs. <laughs> this is a weird scenario, even for me. <laughs> Kingston Cabrera would like to come over to buy some cocaine. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> wait, a fire? Where? Oh, wait, probably the fire I started, right? Uh, you're on fire. The door's only unlocked for first name get out of there i left it locked for everyone else is someone gonna put that out anyone are you just gonna watch him and by the way shh, you're gonna wake the bees look at this i'm getting club points awesome let's see what we can get popular club yeah why not <laughs> oh yeah back to the fire well, there goes the customer. Thanks a lot, guys. You suck. Where's first name at, anyway? Oh, he's outside. Safe. Good. They're all panicking outside, but, like, they're doing nothing about it. Where's that other guy who came over to buy some drugs from me? He never showed up. What a bad day. Oh, Grim is here. Good. And the fire's going out. Great. Burn money. Five grand. Why not? Gotta keep the fire going somehow. She just goes back to playing the violin. Yeah, it's been an odd day. <laughs> They're all judging him for burning the money. Look at his face, he's mortified. <laughs> because he's embarrassed, not because the guy died. There we go, you see I'm earning money to burn later. He's finally contributing to the house. We're finally getting rid of these vines, even though we killed the mother plant like so many episodes ago. <laughs> it's just we need to make this place respectable now that it's a drug den. <laughs> First name is going through a phase. He will pick up an instrument any chance he gets, yell often and turn all radios up to 11. Honestly, that could be a lot worse. Like the guy's doing a lot of coke. <laughs> Are oh, you sad? You want to buy some coke? Is that it? Is that why you're sad? That must be it. I'll be right in. It's like having a child having to get up in the middle of the night to give them cocaine. Hey, you need some coke? There we go. All right, you can go back to sleep. What is it with you and your gold cowboy outfit? I really like it and I'm jealous. Honestly, I should have kind of guessed that this uh, swamp would turn out to be a drug den. I mean, that's what it looks like. I didn't even mean for it to look like that, but it just kind of turned out that way. You know, Jim and him could make a joint business venture. Jim could supply the urns and then he could fill them with coke. <laughs> That's enough crying. It's just distracting you from coke. We're gonna put it in here. New Year's Eve party. Oh, sounds like a good opportunity to sell some coke. <laughs> just like everything else.
wants to... We're just getting club points passively here as they're just locked in the swamp. It's just snorting cocaine. They've got no food. I see just grime all over the walls. We'll expand the size of the club, I think, even though we need to get some new clients. But I think for now, we've done enough. We've done a bit of exploring with drugs, I think. And just, just to protect myself, drugs are bad, okay? Don't do drugs. Ah, uh, I did my part for the community. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and see, it, it's kind of like a nice story because even people like First Name have found their place in the world, <laughs> even if it is a very dark place. <laughs> it's inspiring. Uh. Maybe he doesn't think so. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this, let me know. But other than that, I'll just say appreciate you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye for now.